how we can just identify, describe, measure, and maximize motivation uh, for everyone in your team, and most importantly, you. Um, the tool I use is motivational maps. Um, the reason I use them uh, is because it identifies motivation. It's a 10 minute, it takes about 10 minutes. It's an online questionnaire. Um, it describes um, using nine motivations, um, which uh, I'm going to go through with you now. Um, firstly, what it does is it gives us, you'll see there's uh, three groupings. There's three relationship motivators. There's th uh, three achievement motivators and there's three growth motivators. So we are all a combination of all these nine. And what we've got to do is find the right order for us, which one's most important down to the one that's least important. So there's three groups of three. And what we've also got to think about is what does each one mean? So I'm going to go through each one of them to give you a quick overview. So top left is the defender. The defender is the motivation for security, predictability, and stability. The friend is the motivation for belonging, friendship, and fully fulfilling relationships. And the star is the, the motivation for seeking recognition, respect, and social esteem. And the reason why these are relationship motivators is that they are dependent on other people um, giving them to you, giving things to you. Uh, then on to the achievement motivators. The director is the drive for uh, seeking power, influence and control um, over others and resources, over people and resources, I should say. Uh, the builder is the drive for se that seeks uh, material satisfaction and above average living standards uh, and seeks money. And finally, the final achievement motivator is the expert and the expert is about the knowledge uh, drive and specialism um, and seeks knowledge. And then we have the three growth motivators. We have the creator, which is the, the, the drive for innovation. The spirit, which is the drive for freedom, autonomy, and making a different, uh, sorry, making um, their own decisions. Uh, got ahead of myself there. And then the, the searcher is the drive for making a difference. And I mentioned about feedback maps. Um, thank you for the sort of um, mention about feedback. And, the, and the, I mean, a lot of the the, uh, the defender very much uh, likes feedback because they want to be kept in the loop and get uh, and they need information to make sure that they're feeling secure. But searchers really like feedback because they want to know they're making a difference. And really, the only way you can feel that you're making a difference is by someone giving you feedback. And that can be your line manager. It could be a customer. It could be your, a team member, anyone like that. So feedback, as you mentioned, Matt, is really important. So we have the nine motivators. Um, so the next thing we need to do is measure. So motivation maps gives us a metric to measure a motivation. So you'll see this as an example of someone who has completed the 10 minutes uh, diagnostic and you'll see on the left-hand side, the most important motivator, in this case, searcher, down to the least important on the right, the star. So we give, you'll notice there's a score given for each of the nine motivator. Um, just to quickly answer your, uh, Belbin is about um, the things that we are good at. Um, as far as I understand it, it's very similar to motivation ups and it's, it's a self, um, perception inventory but motivation is slightly different it's the things about what we want to do as opposed to what we're good at so there's a subtle difference there sometimes you find that people uh, even though they're good at something aren't really motivated by it so um, that's that's a quick summary around the difference between um, motivational maps and Belbin but um, there is a similarity in the things that they talk about so um, that's what we do then. So as I, as I mentioned, each of the motivators gets a score uh, from the highest score down to the lowest score. So we can put them in order from the most important to the least important. And then obviously from top to bottom, the most important ones are the things that we focus on. Um, and also something that is quite um, useful in many cases is the lowest motivator is quite revealing in many ways because 
it's the motivator that we spend least amount of time um, considering or focusing on. Um, and in a business context, if you're a business owner, um, so in this instance, uh, the star motivators being the lowest. So that's about recognition and social esteem. And this is the motivator that I link mostly towards or mo the motivation to market ourselves and get noticed. Um, so in this case, this business owner may well be not paying any attention to the amount of time they market themselves and put themselves in, in front of their potential clients. Um, and, and the way they go about that might be um, a bit sporadic. So that might be a, an Achilles heel in their business and needs, and needs to be addressed. 